And there is something in red wine that can do a body good. So scientists are eager to learn all they can about the effects of resveratrol. A big drug company recently offered hundreds of millions for a small company working with resveratrol. Could it be an anti-aging and cancer prevention breakthrough? CBS 4's Alan Janae takes on tonight's Good Question. Is this one you've heard of? No. And I thought I knew about them all. It's pretty incredible what they're saying about it. Isn't oh, it's very incredible. It's resveratrol. Is what resveratrol. There's no doubt if you feed an animal this stuff, they're, they're going to get less cancer. Dr. Robert Sclafani, chair of biochemistry and molecular genetics at CU Denver School of Medicine, where they've been working with this stuff called resveratrol and human cancer cells. And what it does is it fools the cell into thinking that its DNA is being damaged. And then it turns on a response mechanism that now the cell does not divide anymore. Researchers at Harvard fed mice a high-fat, high-calorie diet with resveratrol and without. The mice that got the resveratrol had far better athletic ability than the other fat mice, keeping up with mice that weren't overfed. Plus, they had healthier heart and liver tissues and better insulin and glucose levels. It's going to make fat little mice run around and live long lives. That's right. That's right. And have less incidence of, of heart attacks and... and, and so diabetes, right? Diabetes. And so that's part of this whole, the, what's called the French paradox. The French paradox, why the French, who eat things that would make a cardiologist cringe, don't seem to suffer the effects like Americans do. Experts isolated resveratrol from grape skins in red wine and found that it activates an enzyme found in every living being that has been shown to extend life in every animal tested. It's in worms, it's in mice, it would work the same in humans? Is that a safe assumption? Yes, 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 that would. Strong antioxidant anti-aging. You have a little trouble with the name. Resver resveratrol. What we don't know yet, because there hasn't been enough study, is how much I need to take, how often I need to take it, right? That's right. And that's still a, a big point of controversy in the field. And not likely to be settled without some long-term research. But Dr. Sclafani is taking it, as well as a bit of red wine and peanuts that both contain resveratrol, and hoping for funding to further study how it affects human cancer cells. Okay, so if you want to go out and have red wine with Thai food, <laughs> that's, the way <laughs> that's the way to go. <laughs> and we can do that. And that's your good question. Alan Janae, CBS 4 News. Well, while there's every reason to believe resveratrol will be proven to have the same effects on people, human study is going to take years. Meantime, Dr. Sclafani says check with your physician before taking any supplement. You can hear more of his interview by going to the Good Questions section of our website, cbs4denver.com.